earlier in our notes we talked about how to synthetically divide and I just want to take a couple of minutes to show you how long polynomial division works here on problem number one. Uh, notice the directions. It says use long polynomial division to divide. Show all work. Leave the remainder in fraction form if necessary. State whether the divisor is a factor of the polynomial. So if we take a look at this here, in synthetic division, it's all about the coefficients. In long division, it's all about the variables. So we're going to start here, and our highest degree term is 3x cubed. And we're going to divide 3x cubed by x. Well, remember, we had three x's. We took out one. 3x cubed divided by x is really 3x squared. And I'm going to write the term there. If you want to get technical, it really should go over the 14x squared, but it's not a big enough deal to worry about. And then what's going to happen is we're going to take 3x squared, and we're going to multiply it by x, and we get 3x cubed, and then we take 3x squared times 5, and it's positive times positive, which is positive. And then what happens in long division is that we need to change both signs. So we're going to change this sign to negative. Oh, that green does not work very well, does it? Let's try a different color here. Um, let's see if orange works. Maybe a little bit better. We're going to change both signs. And when we change both signs here, what happens is that the 3x cubes cancel out. And then we have 14x squared minus 15x squared, which is negative 1x squared. Then we're going to bring down the minus 3x. And we're going to go through that process again. So we're going to take the highest degree term, which is negative 1x squared, and we're going to divide it by our x here. Well, we had two x's. We took out one of them. So what's left up here is minus 1x. And then we're going to use this part of our quotient to help us figure out the rest. Negative 1x times positive x is negative 1x squared. Negative 1x times 5 is negative 5x. And then we're going to change both sides. Negative 1x squared plus 1x squared is 0. Negative 3x plus 5x is 2x. And we're going to have to bring down the 10. So we're almost done here. We need to divide 2x by x. It's all about the variables. So 2x divided by x. Well, the x's cancel out. It's positive 2x divided by positive x, so it's positive 2. And then we take 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 5 is 10. And now that we've got that, we're going to change both sides. I'm hoping that my video did not just turn off. Super sorry, I don't know what happened to my computer, but it just did something wacky. wacky. Change both signs, and what we're left with here, 2x minus 2x is 0, 10 plus a negative 10 is still 0. So we ended up with 0, and what that means is, is that x plus 5 is a factor. Now, I don't know what I was thinking on my numbering here, but I just wanted to show you an idea of how polynomial long division works. But I also want to look over here, and how can we do the same problem with synthetic division? So if we take a look at this, we're going to make our upside down division bar. 3 plus 14 minus 3 plus 10. And to avoid the changing both signs over here, we're going to change it now. Since it's x plus 5, 
this becomes negative 5. And we're going to carry down that 3. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. 14 minus 15 is negative 1. Negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5. Negative 3 plus 5 is 2. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. And 10 minus 10 is 0. Again, because we end with 0, x plus 5, the divisor, is a factor. And our last part here is to put the variables back in. Once again, we started with an x cubed. That was our highest degree term. We're dividing by x. Very contrived. It's very planned out to be able to do this. We had three x's. We took out one. That means we're going to start with x squared. And then we're going to descend. Minus 1x plus 2. Notice. 3x squared minus 1x plus 2 here. 3x squared minus 1x plus 2 on the long division. We will get the same answer, the same quotient, which is an answer to a division problem. Whether we do long polynomial division, which was my first method, or the shortcut version, also known as synthetic division, on example number 3.